Hi, this is Patty Hankins from BeautifulFlowerPictures.com and I've got a quick tip for you for to help you take better photos with the camera gear you already have. The next time you go out and set up your camera and do some photography, what I want you to do is to slow down and think about what it is that caught your eye about a scene before taking the photo. Then, once you figured out what caught your eye, compose your photo to emphasize whatever it was. This will help people you share the photo with understand what you are trying to show and will make your photos much more enjoyable to look at. Some of the things that catch my eye when I'm out photographing include colors, shapes, a line, a texture, the way the light hits a scene, or perhaps even just a specific detail. When it's a color that caught my eye, I want that color to be the main thing my viewer sees when they look at my photos. So for example, in the photo of the blue poppy, I zoomed in close to the flower so that the color fills the frame. You can't help but see all the wonderful shades of blue in the flower. And when I photographed this sunrise at Blackwater National Wildlife Refuge, I was in awe of all the pinks and purples in the sky. So I filled the frame with color with just enough silhouetted details to give you a sense of the place where I was taking the photograph. When it's a shape that catches my eye, that's what I want people to notice in my photos. When I saw this common milkweed growing at a local botanical garden, the first thing I noticed were these four-inch four balls of white and pink hanging from the branches. So I took the photo from far enough away that the round shape is what you see rather than the details of the individual blossoms. And sometimes it's the repetition of a shape that I want to share. When I photographed this sunrise in the Smoky Mountains, I was fascinated by the series of ridge lines receding into the distance, so I composed and edited the photo to emphasize the similarity of the shape of the ridge lines. And sometimes it's the way that my subjects line up that catches my eyes. A field of sunflowers can be a bit overwhelming to photograph. There can be so many flowers, so much bright yellow, so many bees. But by choosing just one line of flowers to emphasize in my photograph, you get the sense of the field of flowers without being overwhelmed by them all. And for the bleeding hearts, it was a combination of the heart shapes of the flower and the line of the blossoms hanging from the branch that caught my eye. The line created by the arch of the branch guides your eyes through the photo and you notice all the flowers. When it's a texture that I see, I'll often emphasize it by getting as close as I can to my subject so that you only see the texture and oftentimes you don't see the full subject. This fuzzy brain celosia still had the morning dew on it when I photographed it in a field, so I focused in on the ridges and on the fuzz to give you a sense of the texture and what it was like to be in the field that morning. The soft, paper-thin layers of the white ranunculus were much more interesting to me than the entire flower. So I photographed the layers and the edges, and unless you know it's a flower, you might not even know what it's a photograph of. Sometimes, it's the way that the light strikes a subject that captures my eye, and that's what I want to show in my photos. When I saw this columbine practically glowing in the early morning light, I lined up my camera, my tripod, and the flowers to show it fully lit by the sun. And with the lotus, the flower is lit from behind, so the light is streaming through the photo, through the flower. So you can see the structure of the blossom. You can see the inner petals as the darker shadows on the outer petals. And finally, sometimes there's just a detail that captures the essence of the scene before me and it can incorporate several of the features I've discussed. So that's what the photo becomes about, the details. With the coral reef chrysanthemum, I loved the shades of orange, yellow, and red, and the twisting, curling shape of the petals, and the amazing textures in some of them. So the photos is about the details of color and shape and texture. And with the butterfly weed, again, it's a combination of color and shape, that make for the fascinating details that compose the photograph. So next time you're out photographing, be sure to take a few seconds to think about what caught your eye and how you can emphasize that in your photos. 
If you found this tip helpful, I do teach workshops and work with private students. You can learn more about working with me at beautifulflowerpictures.com slash learnwithme.html. Hope you have a wonderful day.